really like is pee, poop, and toilet paper because that rapidly disperses. We don't like towels, we don't like non-woven fabrics, things that don't rapidly break down because they do drive up our labor costs and you have to spend a lot of time to remove these uh, materials from your systems because they block pumps and they can cause sewer spills. And we are hearing, as we talk to more people regionally and nationally, that folks are having sewer spills now caused by these materials. So it's a, all types of materials. Basically our message is we do not want these things flushed. Throw them in the trash can. The sewer system is there to transport pee, poop, and toilet paper. Any other materials you put in the sewer system have to be removed at some point in the process. That's the problem being cl pump clogging. Pump clogging You're having to pull one. your pumps and clean them out more clean often. Your pumps. There's also the gravity sewers. We're finding this debris settles in gravity sewer, uh, sewers. Uh, combined sewers and sanitary separate sewers. Our partners back in Maine have large combined sewers, which are designed to handle a lot of flow on rainy days in addition to dry weather flows from the sewers. And what they're having, the problem is when they have a rainstorm, all this water comes in the sewers and it resuspends all this debris okay. that's sitting in the pipes, and then that debris heads for a treatment plant or a pump station where it's overwhelming the machinery okay. that's trying to handle these problems. So we really don't want the materials in combined sewer systems or sanitary states. They've investigated in some areas and they're always looking for good first-hand information. The problem with a lot of these materials you find in the sewers, of course, is there's no fingerprints. You can't tell who's making them. You can't, sometimes you can't tell the type of material they are because they, they do not rapidly disperse, but we find some telltale signs of what types of materials. They could be towels, they could be paper towels, they are non-woven fabrics. How like, does that differ, non, I'm sorry, non-woven from the stuff like toilet paper that's meant to, um, you know, disintegrate? Well, when you, you find uh, when things don't disintegrate, they, they'll leave a, a, they'll leave a, a tattletale, uh, what I call a tattletale, is there'll be some, some sign of what this material is. And Isn't there plastic in it that makes it non-disintegratable or? Yes, one of the, what we're finding now about uh, some of the plastic or some of the white products, the non-woven products, uh, they can also use a very sophisticated plastic to make these wipes. They're very smooth, they're very good, they're very rugged. That's why the consumers like them, but they don't break down when you put them in the sewer. And so we're saying we don't want we those don't want types of materials. Way. We want things that rapidly disperse. The Europeans are way ahead with redesigning some of their products to try to achieve rapid dispersibility. And that's our goal. And so I'm working with many people nationally on this subject.